Welcome back to the Charleston County Roadwise program. As promised, we're going to be talking about changes in traffic and the number of people that are moving into our community is, is really large. I, I just don't know any other way to put it. Uh, it's changed quite a bit. That means that uh, there's been a number of folks who have come from other parts of the country and have moved into this area, into the Charleston, Berkeley, Dorchester area. And we have a lady who knows a lot about that and, and she's with an organization that studies these kinds of things and determines what sort of needs do we have and how can we meet those needs in, ta in terms of transportation expectations. And I'd like you to meet my guest now. She is Catherine Basha and she is uh, certified mm -hmm. in, a, a, in a large way, but you're assistant planning director and you've got an AICP behind your name. Right. And what does that mean? Um, American Institute of Certified Planners. And so you know all about planning. Well. And you've done a lot. Done it for a while. You know, it, when, the last time we met, it was interesting to me that we talked about some of the plans that uh, the COG, I, I'll call them the Council of Governments, but uh, uh, the name that a lot of us use is the COG, the Council of Governments. When I saw you last time, there was a lot of change occurring in the community in terms of traffic. But in my way of thinking, working with the Roadwise program, there has been an explosion of sorts in certain parts of the county, Charleston County and probably Berkeley and Dorchester County, and I want to know what's going on here. Are we having more people moving into the area than we expected or have had in the past? I think that the, the growth that we've had in the last decade has been about what we projected, um, but I think that a lot of the planning for transportation improvements, road improvements that we started putting in place back in the late 90s when we saw the growth coming and then earlier in the decade have now finally broken ground so you can see the physical improvements being made. Now is this the, one of the jobs of the Council of Governments is to bring together all of these community people, usually uh, the politicians, the mayors, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera sit down, get some data, some information from you, and it's not that simple, and I'm oversimplifying and I apologize, but sit down with these folks and say, look, this is what we expect, make some projection towards the future, and then ask them to help make some decisions on what we're going to do about it. Right. The Council of Governments actually also serves as the Metropolitan Planning Organization. So we are responsible for the transportation planning for the region um, or within the urbanized areas of the region and we as a staff will take the data in terms of the, um, the census data as a, as a base, look at the projections or the planned you know, communities and new developments that are coming online, the new commercial development and project what kind of transportation or traffic impact that's going to have on the existing roads and also you know in areas where there aren't roads to already serve that. Well, one of the things that I've seen though in our discussion before we got started with this program and heard heard from you and I've heard from others as well it's going to take more than just widening roads. Mm -hmm. We're probably going to have to look at other forms of transit right. and transportation. Maybe four wheels, maybe seven wheels, I don't know. What sort of things are you looking at? Is the COG looking at? Well we've um, done a couple of studies already just starting to look at rail systems, whether a commuter rail or light rail system um, in the main corridors makes sense. We're just starting on another study, um, uh, it's called the uh, Fixed Guideway Alternatives Analysis, mm -hmm. and that will look at what makes the most sense in terms of an alternative form of transportation in the main corridor of I-26 and Rivers Avenue, because that's where a lot of the you know, commuters travel. And um, we also have, we have a program that's called the Mobility Management Program. We have a, um, a website called Trident Rideshare where people who are interested in looking at alternative forms, whether it be to take the CARTA bus system or the rural uh, Tri-County Link bus system, or if they're interested in carpooling and um, riding bikes to, to work, van pooling, you can go online and connect with people who have the same commuting patterns wow. and, and times as you. I, I didn't know that. As a matter of mm -hmm. fact, I think we're going to have to do uh, some programs on that because it sounds very interesting. We're up and running already. 
on this kind of a project where people can share information on where they're going and mm -hmm. connect with one another. Right. It sounds like the big city with those, what are they, HOAs? Um, oh, with the HOV lanes? Yeah, right. HOVs, I should have said. <laughs> yeah, the high occupancy vehicle um, lanes, we did do a survey and, and looked into the possibility of doing that on I-26 when we were just doing the most recent widening and got a feel from the commuters there whether or not they were open to that idea. But, you know, there's a little bit more to HOV lanes than just, you know, designating a lane. You have to be able to get the people who are, who are carpooling right. and using those lanes to get back across traffic to the exit ramps. And that means that you've got to have more than one person in a vehicle right. at a time. Otherwise, you don't get to use the special lane. That's right. Which is the, the fastest lane, mm -hmm. or gets you to your destination a lot faster. Right. We do have, um, also have the commuter bus routes in place. Um, from Somerville down to the peninsula and a new rural one out in Dorchester County as well. Let's take a look at this map and, and it's really interesting to me because I think it sets the tone for what we're talking about. When we came to you and said what is going on with all the traffic? I live in a community um, near here and it seems like there is back-to-back -back traffic mm -hmm. at certain times of the day. Where are the hot spots? And I'll call the hot spots those where you have the most traffic, where you have the most congestion, especially during the morning when parents are taking their children to school and in the evening when one is coming home from work mm -hmm. or picking their children up for school. Where, where are the real spots that need our attention right now? Well, this map actually shows you a comparison of the um average daily traffic counts at different locations in Charleston County and we've kind of highlighted the ones where there was the most increase in traffic counts between the year 2000 and the year 2010 and um, South Carolina Department of Transportation provides us these counts on an annual basis they have different monitoring stations you know permanently set up that that track this and and then you know they calculate the data and send it to us so um, the hottest spots, uh, not surprisingly, are over east of the Cooper ah. in the Mount Pleasant area. Yes, well, <laughs> how would we have guessed that? <laughs> and then, you know, again, also, you know, some, some hotter spots in, in the peninsula and then going up through the neck area. We're so. going to talk a little bit more about that because it's probably not surprising to anyone that you would say that Mount Pleasant is one of those places. Of course, a lot of work is being done in that area. Mm -hmm under the transportation sales tax program uh, to ensure that we move that traffic a little quicker. And uh, 526 is being extended down to Hungry Neck. And so we see a lot of things going on. But I want to look at uh, not just that area, but some of the other areas where you're working mm -hmm. in Dorchester and in Berkeley County. And then we want to investigate a little bit further what's going on in Charleston County and how it all happened. Mm -hmm. And we'll do that when we come back from the break in just a moment.